So I'm Katharina Rora. I'm Managing Director at the Buchinger Wilhelmi Clinic in Marbella, Southern Spain. And today I have the pleasure to give you some tips um, about what I think, what I consider is very important if you do a fast, especially if you do it for the first time. Uh, but maybe also if you tried it before and it didn't work out totally well. So, um, yeah. So uh, my first tip would be, and I think that's in general uh, for life, um, to find a good balance. So um, a balance between uh, being um, stressed, uh, a balance between uh, being in physical, physical activity, and then having uh, also moments of relaxation, um, of introspectiveness. Um, so that's especially important if you do a fast. Um, if you fast, uh, it's at the beginning you might feel a bit weaker the first days. Um, your body has to adapt to the new metabolism, to the fasting metabolism. And um, then it's especially important that you also think about uh, having physical activities, although maybe you don't feel like that. Um, maybe you feel more like staying in bed and uh, you feel a bit weak, you feel a bit tired. Um, that's also fine, of course, you have to listen to the body always. But also kick yourself a bit and try to get into the move, into the movement. Um, so ideally, once you are already in the fasting metabolism, you have a very good routine, a balanced routine between the physical and the relaxation moments. Uh, if you do it here at our clinic, at the Buchinger Wilhelmi Clinic, um, you will see in the daily program that we provide to you that the activities that we offer are very um, well thought. Um, so that in the morning you get your metabolism started, you get your, um, your energy started because when waking up maybe you feel a bit dizzy, that might be, that happens to me personally because I have a very low blood pressure. So then really get into the movement, start walking, start stretching, uh, whatever you feel that does, does good to you, but then also find a pause again to get your body rested because, um, and then we come to the second tip, um, don't overload your program. Uh, that's uh, a little maybe mistake, if you want to say so, that we see that some people, they are very motivated, which is great, but then they overload their program. So that means they rush from one activity to the other, from one therapy to the other. And at the end of the day, they feel very, very exhausted. And that's not the point of fasting because fasting should be joyful and can be joyful as well. So um, that's the point where often our nurses and our doctors, when they look at the program of the, of the patient, they have to say, slow a bit down, take your rest. So if you did one hour of physical activity while fasting is great, but then take a little pause again, drink enough. And um, so at the end, it's really about finding the right balance. And that can be um, different from one person to the other, of course, because we're all individuals. We all have different lives, different constitutions, different uh, health issues. So find the right balance uh, between the physical and the relaxation um, part. Both are equally important while doing the fast. So that would be uh, my second tip, the not overloading. Um, another very important thing uh, that we see here at the clinic is um, the lack of liquids. So uh, we believe in, and we also see from our experience, that it's very important to nourish your body. It doesn't need any solid food, but it needs a lot of liquids um, from the inside, but then also from the outside. Uh, I'm talking about the skin, for example. So everything gets a bit drier. Of course, you lose a lot of liquids with all the detox process. Um, so then drink a lot of water, drink a lot of herbal infusions, um, if, if possible, um, ecological ones, of course. Um, with them, you can also get some uh, vitamins, if they are good, if they are freshly done, the infusions. But then also nourish your body from the outside, the skin. Um, 
take oils with the massages, um, make a good uh, um, skin detox in, in a facial treatment and then nourish it with some masks. So that's another important point. A lot of people uh, tend to forget no, because um, maybe they underestimate that you lose a lot of water. So of, also often if you feel dizzy, if you have a little headache, if you have some back issues, drink a lot. So that's a very easy tip, but something that people often don't believe in, that it's so important. And then, for example, me personally, but that's again something very personal, maybe you would also need a little bit more of salt. Often we, th we say you don't need a lot of salt, especially while fasting, because it retains water. But if you tend to lose a lot of liquids and you see it in the skin and you feel it maybe with headaches or any other um, symptoms, uh, take a little bit more of salt in the, in the soups. So that could be um, another useful tip, for, especially for those who do it for the first time. Another very important topic, uh, at least from my side, and I think it's um, being more and more important these days, is the digital detox part in fasting. So it's uh, a topic that we started as a part of campaign even here at the clinic uh, a few years ago, uh, that people, if they want patients, can leave their mobile phone, for example, or another electronic device at the reception and have it locked uh, in a safe for a certain time of hours, days, or even during the whole stay to really try out how it feels without being connected the whole time. This is, of course, locking it somewhere is, of course, the more... Um, Stricter part, stricter part, but you can also, of course, make an agreement with yourself while fasting and just leave it, uh, your mobile phone for a few hours at the room while you're being away, making activities, making a walk, a hike, whatever. And this is already a very good training because we are not used to that. And what often comes out is that we use this time with uh, being not connected. We use it much more efficient uh, than we think. Uh, because then we are really, really focused on what we're doing and um, not distracted by any news, any calls, anything. And also uh, what was found out is that nowadays uh, we don't have uh, minutes or uh, hours where we really feel bored because we are always distracted by social media, videos, whatever. So, and this bored, boring time or the time where you feel bored can be used uh, for creativity. So often we think we are not creative anymore, but this is uh, very easy to, to resolve. Just leave the mobile devices and the, the internet uh, away from you for some hours and then you will start to think about new ideas you will start um, hearing the sound of nature the birds uh, seeing an interesting person uh, passing by and creativity will come back to you so um, this digital detox part maybe it doesn't sound very attractive but um, I personally believe it's very very important and especially during fasting because when you fast you feel you are more open, you are maybe um, more, um, uh, more ready for some external um, impulses, input, uh, or however you want to call it. Then if we talk more about the, the mental side and maybe also the spiritual side, um, every fast can be different. Um, that's especially people have done it often. They uh, always tell us, well, last time I didn't feel like that or I didn't. Maybe I didn't have so many days where I felt low or where I felt a bit more sad or I wanted to stay more in the room, wanted to be on my own. Um, that's normal. Don't stress yourself uh, because of that. Um, at the end, what we can also always say uh, from the personal side, but then also from what we observe at the clinics, at the end, you will always feel better. So then maybe if you uh, feel a bit more down at the beginning, that might be that you're coming from a very hectic life before, um, that something happened, maybe um, something very personal, maybe you were also sick before. Um, so it could be that then the fast at the beginning might be a bit more difficult, but don't worry about it because at the end of the fast you will always come out better than, than you did before. So uh, don't let that bring you down. And then also take this moment and really, really feel and maybe find out what your body needs in that moment. So maybe it's a topic 
you try to you know push aside uh, in your in your normal day um, but then really take it and and work it through you know maybe on yourself on your own by writing down uh, on a diary or anything or talk to a professional person about it a coach a psychotherapist as we do here at the clinic we offer that Uh, because that's really the opportunity. So don't try to push uh, it uh, aside and be strong and, you know, I have to just uh, overcome this part. Take it as an opportunity because um, what we always see is that during the fast, um, things just come out that we try to hide. It's, it's a bit like going into a vacation, holiday, even uh, during the weekends. Uh, suddenly, uh, you know, maybe we feel a bit more sick, we feel a bit more down, although we shouldn't because, you know, it's a joyful moment. But that's maybe because we are, we're coming from a, from a bit more uh, difficult times before. It might be mentally, psychologically, uh, but also maybe physical, you know, the body was fighting against an infection or anything. So that might come out at the beginning. Sometimes we even see it on the skins, um, you know, that something, um, you know, a little rush or something comes out, some red dots. We don't know why, but that's maybe because, uh, you know, before we, we had a very um, toxifying uh, way of life, lifestyle. So, uh, yeah, that's very important that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't bring you down. So take it as an opportunity. And then, in general, um, people who do it for the first time, the fasting, um, and that's very naturally and logically, they come very, very anxious, <laughs> um, especially if maybe yeah, they didn't get the recommendation of family members or someone very next to them to fast, uh, but maybe just the doctor said you have to look at your values, do something to improve them. Um, and they come very anxious because, of course, the topic of uh, or the thinking about not eating makes the people feel anxious. No, it's natural. Um, there, it's very important to really at the beginning, if you start your fast, um, if you feel a bit, you know, headaches, little side symptoms, it's normal. It's totally normal. Don't think, oh my God. My body is fighting against it. This is not for me. I won't make it. Um, of course, if you do it in a medical um, surrounding like ours with nurses, with doctors, with a lot of stuff, um, they, would, they would motivate you, which is good. If you try to do it on your own, you should always, I mean, we always recommend to, to really have a person next to you who is really skilled and um, maybe also medically um, professional. Um, But really, the first two days, they can be a bit more hard. So it's not a journey. It's, it's not a journey. It's not a, it's not a walk. It's a hike, what we say. No, it's, it's a real mountain hike. It's a stress for the body, of course. The body has to learn to adapt to a new metabolism. But um, don't let this motivate you. Huh? And so then, uh, really, um, here, the good thing is that you can always ask the nurses to help you. So if you have some little side symptoms, there are always little tricks and tips. For example, um, me personally, uh, if I feel very low, have a low blood pressure, um, you can do very easily the so-called uh, German Kneipp uh, therapies, which are um, alternating cold and hot water, walking into, into cold water and then hot uh, water, or also um, the arms, or taking hot and cold showers. So this is a very, very natural, easy tip Uh, that might uh, let you feel better then. So, um, yeah, just um, overcome this one, two, maybe three days, but normally the third day is, uh, is perfect. Is your body perfectly running on the new system? And, uh, and then enjoy the rest of the fast. So these were my five personal fasting tips. I hope you could find some information that is useful for you. And if you want to try out the fast, we really encourage you and uh, assure you that something very good will come out of it. And you will be very proud of yourself because you challenged your body. And if you liked it, please show it to us with a like. And we have some more videos if you want to watch more. And wish you a good day. Mm -hmm.